At any point, you can go back to the original screen by just releasing the buttons, and it will go back to the default setting, which will show the temperature and the floor temperature. The initial setting is the room temperature, which can be uh, controlled by just hitting the up and down arrows at any point will give you the set room temperature, which is the air temperature around you. The initial display on the screen shows the ambient air temperature, the air around you, and also the floor temperature. Now to access the different functions for this thermostat, you must push both buttons simultaneously together and it'll bring you to the first window, which is uh, the heat mode, where you can actually shut the heat on and off by hitting both the up and down arrows. Now by hitting both buttons together brings you to the next window, which is the Fahrenheit Celsius control. In our area, we use Fahrenheit, so I'm gonna set it on Fahrenheit. Now you push the both buttons again, which will bring you to the light control, but we're gonna skip over that and go to the set floor control. This is the minimum setting, and typically you wanna set that two degrees lower than your typical lowest setting. And that gives it kind of a head start to get the floor warm, especially in concrete. So now continue to hold those buttons down. We're gonna skip over the type of heating. You're gonna notice it's gonna say escape. You continue to hold the buttons uh, depressed and that's gonna get you into the next wave of controls. Uh, this part here is auxiliary sensors, which is secondary sensors. In this case, we're using a floor sensor because this is radiant heat, but you could also use an outside sensor or different type of sensors uh, to help control different heating areas. So now we're gonna jump right over to the max setting. And typically that's gonna control the hottest that the floor will get. In this case, we're using it on wood radiant. Uh, we're using radiant on wood floor. So I like to keep the heat a little bit hotter. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this up to about 112. And, um, or yeah, about 112. And for tile, you could possibly run that a little bit lower, like around 106 or 90 to 106, uh, but that's pretty much it. Now you release the buttons and it will bring you back to your original setting that will show the actual temperature in the room. Well, thanks guys for watching this and I hope this was helpful.